We're back for another day of testing in my garage. Yesterday, I did the Bare Men's B12. I wanted to find out how much is too much, and I figured out you can run it straight through the engine. So today, I knew I'd have to answer that question, and I was wondering it, what about seafoam? So I'm gonna do the same thing as yesterday. I'll run the engine, get a baseline, and then put in the seafoam with my funnel, and see if it runs. Easy peasy, another easy day. So let's go ahead and let's get to it. First thing I'm going to do is run some uh, gasoline through the carburetor and get it into the engine so I have my engine back to normal. And some of you have asked when I said a GY6 engine, it's just a replication of the Honda engine. It's 150 cc's and four stroke. So once I get that back to normal, I'll throw in the seafoam and see what happens. Now that gas has cycled through the engine and through the carburetor, it's running a little bit rich, but I knew that from yesterday when tuning it, that it was uh, running lean. So now I'm just gonna use the seafoam and my cool little funnel system here. It's hooked directly up to the carburetor and I'm just gonna add this in and see if the seafoam runs straight through the engine. As you can see, it's just straight seafoam. And that's a whole bottle. I'll oh, get my cat this time. That was last time. It was leaking out everywhere. Learn that lesson. And there we go. It's all hooked up. And it should run. Here we go. Not sounding good. Sounds like it's dying out. Let me see if I can try tuning it a little bit. Nope. Seafoam's a fail. Now pulling up the spark plug here, I should be able to see what exactly happened with the spark plug, or with the engine. And, yeah, it's super wet. I'll put a close up right now, and you can see that the spark plug is drenched. Yeah, in the seafoam, but it just wasn't combusting. I tried tuning it as much as I could as all kinds of different tunes on it to try and get it to run but it just wasn't running and I can feel from my hands it's very oily it's not like the B12 where it was kind of like a mineral spirits where it just evaporates away it's it's staying on my hands so it didn't work <laughs> but I found that out I knew everybody's gonna ask so I found it out now I think we got some pretty good results the seafoam you can't run it straight. Unlike the Berryman's B12 yesterday that ran just on it alone, seafoam, you can't. As you saw with the spark plug, it was getting into the engine and it's just too oily and it just wasn't combusting. And if anybody's curious also, if you try the same thing, make sure you run your engine afterwards with just straight gas to clean out all that gunk that gets in there. You don't want it sitting over an extended period of time. So that's what I do after each test. With that, I think that's it. I think I answered the question, how much is too much seafoam? 
Just seafoam is too much. I want to thank everybody for watching. If you like it, hit that like button. Subscribe to the channel as always. If you have a comment, think I did something wrong, or if you want to see me test something out, leave it in the comments. I read them. And with that, as I always say, ride safe and keep two wheels on the road.